What is up everyone? We are back with some more Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis. So we're going to be taking a quick look at uh, Kesa today. So uh, we're just going to kind of look at his uh, limit breaks, which we did kind of in the, the limit break uh, deep dive video. Um, we're going to look at his equipment and uh, what we have in the realm of skins or battle gear for him. And just kind of break down what his role is um, and kind of where he could go remember guys if you do like what you see if you like to drop that like comment or subscribe if you're not already that'd be absolutely amazing and let's get into this all right so first things first we look at his self-professed fortune teller uh, outfit We've got mdef boost four, crit potency boost four <clears throat> one of the things we're going to see with kate sith is he's going to be somebody who revolves around uh, crit potency uh, they did add in the gear exchange and armor for him the marching jacket and marching horn so the marking marching jacket will give HP and P def kind of a neat looking outfit and then just a three-star uh, marching horn which uh, we'll look at in his equipment here in just a second so again, I, I've still got the one gear voucher they gave us. I keep going back and forth on whether I should use it or not. Um, as of right now, I don't plan on it. So until we see what's going on with any past outfits. Uh, in the realm of limit breaks. So he has three like everybody else, which I was kind of wondering what was going to happen with that. So let's drop back down here and look at his three limit breaks. So his one to start off with is uh, dice. Deals 500% physical magic damage and then increases strength per dice roll up to six. I still haven't figured out really what that means yet. Increases strength per dice roll. So is it the strength of the attack? Does his strength go up? Because again, we don't really get strength. It's P attack. So I don't know. Uh, toy box, this is probably what I'm going to be leaning more towards here, is to, let's go ahead and deliver these, get part of this out of the way. Just really have to use this limit break ten times. Um, toy box is a debuff, so it does some, a weak kind of elemental, non-elemental, sorry, attack to a single enemy, uh, and decreases pdef and mdef mid to mid. So a little bit of a debuff. If we look at Moogle Dance, it is a buff. So cast a slight heal, P attack, and M attack increase mid to mid. So while yes, he's going to revolve a lot around crit uh, and kind of being a, as we'll see in a little bit, uh, when he hits with a crit, he will hit hard. When he doesn't hit with a crit, he doesn't hit that hard. Or as hard, I should say. And then he is built a lot around buff debuff. He is definitely going to be more of a support character with that, you know, chip in damage out of nowhere, basically. So we're going to take a look at this new banner so we can look at his new weapons. Or all his weapons, I should say. Wrong thing. Let's go to our wish list. And we want a Sith. Alright, so we're going to start... Uh, with his other weapons before we get to the feature weapon so we start here with the marching horn this is a buff p attack is increased mid to high and again this is a base mid to high base one has a regen and magic heal of nine percent we do get when we max this out we do have a the buff debuff extension but the boost heal here of plus 40 right off the bat I mean, that puts him at a 50 or plus 60% heal. Uh, P attack across the board here, which is fine because this does boost P attack. Um, but it is to a single ally. That's something to keep in mind. This is a this is a targeted attack or targeted buff. If you were to then max this out, boost heals at 62, which puts you right here at plus 80%. And of course we do have the buff debuff extension plus 26 is going to put you at 120 percent increase if you have that uh ob10 
If you just have it at the five star, eight gets you the 40%. Not a bad weapon. The battle trumpet. Here we have again light physical attack across all damage, uh, across enemies with a crit rate of 20%. All or other characters crit at 10%. Uh, so he's able to go beyond that. P attack ability potency. We have attack boost, attack boost, P attack boost. So the support material is kind of meh. But uh, the R abilities, good. We'll see what the stats look like though on them. So you get this thing to 120. Again, base stat, P attack plus 30. Boost ability potency plus 12. It's going to put you right here at this plus 8%. Uh, M attack, decrease low uh, to mid for all enemies. P attack decrease, if you hit critical, is mid to high. So it does do both, but it can go to high on the uh, P attack. But again, that has to be a critical hit. So it's not going to do physical attack every time down. It's always going to do magic attack down, but the P attack, not necessarily. If you were to OB-10 this, uh, again, none of this top part changes. You go mid to mid for the magic attack, and physical attack is high to high. Your uh, boost P attack is at the 46, which is going to put you right at the plus 40%. So really one more strong P attack weapon and you're maxed. Boost ability potency plus 39. Puts you all the way down here at level 5, plus 30%. And really, I mean, at that point, you are what? So 16 points away. So you get another weapon like that, you're maxed. Support material we had already looked at. So overall, pretty solid weapon. The gold megaphone. Uh, so now we're kind of getting into kind of like a UV type territory here. So again, there's the crit rate 20%. Fire resist is decreased mid to high, and again, this is just five star stat. If you crit, M attack gets decreased mid to high. So, this is similar to the battle trumpet, uh, except we're replacing the M attack with fire resist and the P attack here with uh, magic attack. We do have attack and fire potency here, again, plus 30 at level five, or. Uh, 5 star status and fire potency at 12 which is going to put you the 15% support material attack p attack p attack you over boost this thing now you're at plus 46 which is getting you really close i mean you're at level 6 you're just 9 points away so for a sub weapon you need a plus 18 to physical attack which is really easy to get so you're pretty close to being maxed out for your physical uh, plus physical attack and then your fire potency at plus 39 is putting you at that plus 55%. That is a really high amount there. Overall, again, solid weapon. Um, probably would, if I'm using Kate Sith, obviously I might main hand this one if I'm going against, you know, uh, enemies that are weak to fire. Um, if I am not main handing it, it's still a good sub weapon the silver megaphone here boost hp boost ability potency if you get it to a level 120 it's five star status boost hp is 30 which is going to put you at the plus 45 percent hp boost ability potency at eight percent it does 320 percent physical non-damage p def is decreased low to low again we still have that crit rate of 20. if you hit critical the crit uh, the p def gets decreased by high so this is just straight p def down um, then attack, attack, attack. Not a strong weapon. I would, I would second. I would put this in my offhand, just for the ability. I would not main hand this one. But then, if you do get it to OB10, boost HP of plus 46, which is going to get you down here to the plus 70 percent, and then boost ability potency plus 39, which gets you to your plus 30 percent break. The crystal megaphone. So this has instant barrier. Mid to high, regen, magic heal. So again, this is a single ally. This is similar to the P attack, uh, stalwart bravery here, where again, we're looking at a single ally. So this one boosts the attack and does the regen. This one boosts defense and does regen. Uh, so we have boost attack, not physical attack, a plus 30, which is gonna give you a plus 10% for both physical and magic. And then you have the boost magic ability potency of plus 12, 
Support materia is all boost magic. So really, you are going to use this more as a magic weapon if you're going to do any magic attacks. Or if you're going to offhand this to somebody else, it's going to be a magic user. Decent magic attack stat, but again, that boost magic ability potency of plus 39 when this thing is OB10 gets you that plus 60%. Boost attack, again, plus 46 is going to put you at plus 20, plus 20. If you've got your magic attack boosts up, this is going to be a nice little solid add to that. Um, again, will I, would I, this is, if I'm going to be using Kate Sith as straight support, Crystal Megaphone and the uh, Marching Horn for a physical party would be really good. Alright, so now we're going to get to some, these are just stat sticks. The red megaphone, 280% fire magic against all enemies, boost HP of plus 30, fire potency of plus 12, attack, magic attack, magic attack. This is an offhand sub-weapon for somebody to boost fire potency. That's how I view this, and boost HP. Um, again, gives you some high magic uh, attack, uh, but I would not main hand this with Kate Sith. Same thing with the blue megaphone, this is just the ice version of it. Uh, same deal. I would not be main handing this with Case Sith. I'm using this as a stat stick for somebody else. Green Megaphone. All right, so this is a water uh, attack, magic uh, magic water attack with when your HP is a 50% or more, water resist down is our water resist is decreased from mid to high. If you get this thing to 120, magic attack is plus 30, water potency is plus 12. We do have magic attack, magic attack circle sigil boost. This is a good one to main hand. If you are lucky enough to ma max it out, you get that plus 46 to your magic attack, which is going to give you your plus 40% and your water potency is plus 39, so plus 55%. And again, your water resist, uh, decre uh, water resist decrease goes from high to high. Solid weapon to main hand if you can get it. The yellow megaphone is the one we got for free. We got two copies of it, so we are already at OB1 with it. This does have a boost attack and boost ability potency. Uh, at level 120, if it was just a 5 star, which we are more than that, uh, you would get a boost attack of plus 30, so it's going to put you at that plus 10%, and boost ability potency of plus 12 at that 8%. The interesting thing about this is its uh, ability here. We'll come back to that in a second, but attack... P attack, P attack. If you OB10 this thing, so it goes up to 700% here. This is the one I really kind of want to focus on. Again, we can see these stats. These stats are just as good as some of the other ones. This is a crit rate of plus 30%, so it's already higher than what the others were. But if you hit with a critical hit, it does times 3 damage. So not taking into account any of boost ability potency, or if you were to have boost physical ability potency on this. Let's look at just this. 700% times 3, so you are doing 210% or 2100% physical non-elemental damage if you crit. With a 30% crit rate, I mean, you're basically, in theory, critting almost one set of every three hits. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. Solid weapon. Um... I don't know if I would necessarily main hand it, I would put it as my offhand. And then finally, that brings us to the flower vase. Um, again, I have not done a Shiji pull on this banner yet. Um, I will get back into this weapon again when we look at that. But this is our first weapon that adds something new to the game. We'll get to that in a second. So first soft support material, magic attack all the way down. So this does a boost magic uh, magic attack. So at level 120, five star plus 40. So you're right there at that plus 30 percent. Boost magic ability potency plus 12. But you get that plus 15 percent. Here's where things get interesting. So magic attack is mid to high. Magic attack increases mid to high. Uh, region is applied. Magic heal is given. Those are kind of low, but haste. At 5 star, you're given a 10 second haste with a 20% cast rate. Alright, so when we think, and again I'll bring this up when we look at the, the banner itself, 
The problem is you have to single out who you're casting on. And even then there's only a 20% rate. So one out of every five chances, right? Yes. One out of every five chances will give the haste. If you wanted to haste all three people, it, you know, in your party, you're running into trouble because this is also a four ATB. You would almost need to haste Kate Sith first to have a chance at getting the other two hasted. And then that's all his focus is, though. It's just on this over and over and over. So I don't think it's as good as what my first reaction to seeing it thought it was. If it straight just gave haste, completely different story. If, if there wasn't a chance it could fail, completely different story. If you do end up getting it maxed, again, this does not change. It's still a 20% chance to get the haste, but it lasts for 20 seconds. You go high to high with him, attack increase, regen, it goes up to 15 seconds, and your magic heals 13%. But the magic attack is plus 62. I mean, you're straight just maxed with this alone. Your magic attack is maxed if you main hand this weapon. And then your boost magic ability potency plus 39 puts you right here. So he's got some pretty solid weapons, don't get me wrong. Overall, what is his role? It's what I thought he was going to be. He is a buffer and debuffer. He is a support character. Um, he can dish out some damage. When you look at uh, his yellow megaphone here, he can definitely dish out some damage. Uh, but his main role is definitely as a support character. So kind of be thinking about that as you're pulling for weapons for him. If you're wanting to start using Kate Sith in your party, uh, how can he fill that support role for you? Who is he going to replace in a support role? That's kind of what I would be looking for. Overall, he's a solid character. He's an interesting add, um, especially when you look at his uh, party jacket here giving you that crit potency arcanum so again increasing your crit damage by 50% and then also giving you the buff debuff increase by 40% because of the plus 10 so that's where we're at let me know down below what do you think about Kate Sith do you think he's a good add do you think he's going to be usable in your party setup um, right now, unless I can start getting some good items for him, I don't have much of a use for him. But I wouldn't say he's useless for me. With where we're at with things. Uh, solid character. I think he's definitely going to kind of change the meta of the game a little bit. And maybe some things are going to revolve around him when we start getting some more in-game content. We'll see. Uh, but I think he's going to continue to be that support uh, buff debuff character as we continue on. And I think we're going to see uh, our uh, meta changes. I think we're going to see the power creep in the realm of those things with him specifically. So we're going to call that here. So thanks for watching, guys. Again, if you do like what you see, if you'd like to drop that like, comment, or subscribe if you're not already, that'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.